Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, let's go over Image Picker. So as I mentioned in the previous video, Image Picker is a camera application. Basically, it's a bare bones camera application, but there's a lot actually built into it. And so ideally, you should get something like this as a framework and you build on top of this Image Picker widget. So what it is, it's a basically bare bones camera. You can take a picture and take a picture right inside of there and show the picture right there. So let's go over this a little bit and I'll have some more discussion um, afterwards. So first of all, you have to add image picker as a dependency, package get. You don't need camera. That's just for the previous video. And then we have to import it right through here. We will also need Dart IO and async. So async because why? Well, Remember, anytime you access a camera or any hard device, there's going to be some latency between accessing it and getting that information back. Anytime there's a little bit of a delay there, Dart requires that that is going to be a future. Okay, so you will need async and Dart IO because image picker can pick an image from the camera or it can pick an image from the gallery or anywhere on your hard drive. Okay, so here it is, run app. This we should all know about. It's a picture is going to be stateful, right? Because there's going to be a, a state where there's no image. And then there's going to be, ta after taking the picture, a state where there's going to be an image. So there's got to be a state inside of there, at least two states. So it's going to be stateful. And then we're going to say file image. This is the picture we're going to actually take a picture of. Okay. So this is going to represent the picture. However, I'm going to use a get image method asynchronous, right? Because it's going to be taking the picture. And this is going to await image picker dot pick image, pick image, meaning taking a picture. Okay. And the source is going to be image source dot camera. What other methods are there? There's pick video also. So pick image or pick video. And then it's going to be image source dot camera or image source dot gallery, where you can get images from the hard drive also. And so that's going to have the value of picture, but we're going to set the state saying image is going to have the value of picture. So this is what we're going to need. Save it in memory. This is where what the value of the image is going to be. It's either going to be null, which it is right now, or after we take a picture, it's going to equal the picture itself. OK. Now, <clears throat> scaffold. Why am I putting scaffold here? Well, simply because why didn't I put it way up here? Because I need to use this the value of image. If I don't, if I put the scaffold up here, because of lexical scope, I won't be able to use image right down here as a child of scaffold because it'll be way up here. So in order to use image here and down here, I have to bring scaffold the widget all the way down here into the stateful widget in order to, to use the value right here. OK. The other possibility is I could have built a parent widget, which includes both of these widgets, but at the same time, that makes it a lot more complicated. So what we're going to do is in the center of the body, it's going to be image. If it's null, there's going to be a smash the camera button, just like you would smash that like button, smash the camera button to take a picture. And then there would be, if not, if it's not null, then it's going to have image.file image right here, which has the value of picture after you take the picture. Okay. And then there's the floating action button. When you press it, it'll activate the get image. And that's what we got. Okay, drawer, it's right here. This is a drawer. You can also access it this way. The reason I put that there is, watch this. So I'm going to click on this button right here. First of all, let's stop this. Let's restart it all over again. <clears throat> okay, smash the camera button to take a picture. This is the drawer. We're going to click on here. And here is the virtual environment. I'm going to look around a little bit. Ooh, nice stove. OK. We have these features. This is the timer. So if you click the button, it'll wait three, count down three seconds or count down 10 seconds to take a picture. Here's the grid to make sure. Ooh, is it aligned quite right? There we go. We could switch cameras. That's the back camera. This is the front camera. So if you want to take a selfie, Notice here, there is no drawer, right? 
There's no floating action button. This is a custom floating action button. I didn't create this at all. And then we could take a picture. And if we just go back, they'll go get us back the same scene. If we take a picture again, we decline it. It's going to take us back here. If we take a picture and accept it, it'll take us right here where it used to be smash the camera button. It's right here. And then you could take another picture and keep going from there. All right. So that's pretty much Image Picker. So we didn't go over the video. So a video is a little bit more complicated. Um, we didn't even go over getting the gallery either. But the I got to say, this is weird. And, and the reason why this is weird is because that's all I can think that we can do with this. There's not a whole lot else. Now, I could add through here, maybe the drawer, and add some features also. But notice it's only in this it, when we have the scaffold. Once we go here, there's nothing available. So if I want to go ahead and add, um, change the settings of the camera, there's no way to actually do it. There's no API that lets you do it. The only thing that I could see is when you put a dot here in index, I think index will tell you which camera it is. So it'll return an int. So it'll be camera zero, camera one. But you don't really know what camera that is because, right, you, hang on a second. It, you. You could switch it, uh, hang on, it's freezing a little bit. You could switch it at any time, but you don't really know what to do with that camera. So even if you knew this is camera one or this is, this is camera zero, okay, fine, I know that. Now what? How do you access that information? And I don't see that there's a way to actually access it. Maybe you have to use the camera app or the camera package in addition to this, but I've not seen any videos on that. All the videos that I've seen and, and in the tutorials, they end it right here. And they said, okay, now you're done. Well, wait a minute. Now, now what am I supposed to do with this? How can I extend this particular widget? And I don't actually see how it's extendable. And if you can't extend it, it's not really a bare bones. It's a complete application with just the source code available. What you might have to do is maybe extend it or maybe go up and actually edit the package. But you really should never do something like that. Maybe you should just extend it instead, um, extend the image picker or something. But I, I'm honestly not sure where else to go from here. So <laughs> that's what took me so long to go over the camera applications, all right? So those are camera the applications. After all, this is only version 0 0.4. Well, that's kind of high, but maybe they're going to add new features. Um, but the actual APIs, there are no APIs that allow you to extend this at this point in time. Maybe they'll add that in the future. Maybe this is what it is. Maybe this is just proof of concept or something. I don't really know, but I think that's that's where we'll leave this. Maybe in the future, if they have more features to this, um, we'll add to it. If anybody has any more information about extending this or maybe I missed some other camera package, please let me know in the comments, okay? So that's Image Picker um, and camera before that. Let's keep moving on best we can. Thanks.